The Newark Earthworks in Newark and Heath, Ohio, consist of three sections of preserved earthworks, the Great Circle Earthworks, the Octagon Earthworks, and the Wright Earthworks. This complex, built by the Hopewell culture between 100 CE and 500 CE, contains the largest earthen enclosures in the world, and was about 3,000 acres in total extent. Less than 10% of the total site has been preserved since European American settlement. This area contains a total of 206 acres, 83 hectares. It is operated as a state park by the Ohio History Connection. A designated National Historic Landmark, in 2006 the Newark Earthworks was also designated as the Official Prehistoric Monument of the State of Ohio. This is part of the Hopewell Ceremonial Earthworks, one of 14 sites nominated in January 2008 by the U.S. Department of the Interior for potential submission by the U.S. to the UNESCO World Heritage List. Topic. History Built by the Hopewell culture between 100 CE and 500 CE, the earthworks were used by the indigenous Native Americans as places of ceremony, social gathering, trade, worship, and honoring the dead. The primary purpose of the octagon earthwork was believed to have been scientific. Scholars have demonstrated that the octagon earthworks comprise a lunar observatory for tracking the moon's orbit during its 18.6-year cycle. While limited, the Newark Earthwork site is the largest surviving Hopewell earthwork complex in North America. The culture built many earthen mounds. Over decades, they built what is the single largest earthwork enclosure complex in the Ohio River Valley. The earthworks cover several square miles. The complex was one of hundreds of Native American ancient monuments identified and surveyed for the Smithsonian Institution in the mid 19th century by Ephraim G. Squire and Edwin Hamilton Davis, from 1837 to 1847. Their detailed and measured plan of the site is shown on this page. Topic. Great Circle Earthworks The 1,054-foot wide Newark Great Circle is one of the largest circular earthwork in the Americas, at least in construction effort. A 5-foot deep moat is encompassed by walls that are 8 feet meters high. At the entrance, the dimensions are even more grand. Researchers have used archaeogeodesy and archaeoastronomy to analyze the placements, alignments, dimensions, and site-to-site -site interrelationships of the earthworks. This research has revealed that the prehistoric cultures in the area had advanced scientific understanding which they used as the basis of their complex construction. Today, the Great Circle Earthworks are preserved in a public park in Heath. Topic. Octagon Earthworks 50 acres total, the octagon earthworks consists of an observatory mound, observatory circle, and the connected octagon, which span nearly 3,000 feet 910 meters in length. It has eight 550-foot long walls, from 5 feet meters to 6 feet meters high. The octagon earthworks are joined by parallel walls to a circular embankment enclosing 20 acres, 8.1 hectares. In 1982, researchers from Earlham College in Richmond, Indiana concluded that the complex was a lunar observatory designed to track motions of the moon, including the northernmost point of the 18.6-year cycle of the lunar orbit. When viewed from the observatory mound, the moon rises at that time within one half of a degree of the octagon's exact center. The earthwork is twice as precise as the complex at Stonehenge, assuming Stonehenge is an observatory, which is a disputed theory. From 1892 to 1908, the state of Ohio used the octagon earthworks as a militia encampment. Immediately after this, the Newark Board of Trade owned the property, until 1918. 
In 1910, they leased the property to Mound Builders Country Club MBCC, which developed the site as a golf course. As a result of a Licking County Common Pleas court case, a trustee was named to manage the property from 1918 to 1933. In 1997, the Ohio Historical Society, now the Ohio History Connection, signed a lease until 2078 with the Country Club. MBCC maintains, secures, and provides some public access to the land. Some citizens believe the Country Club is an inappropriate use of the sacred site. There has been increasing public interest in the earthworks. Activists have pressed for more public access to the site to witness the moonrise, which observance was planned in the design and construction by the original native builders. Topic. Wright Earthworks The Wright Earthworks consist of a fragment of a geometrically near-perfect square enclosure and part of one wall that originally formed a set of parallel embankments, which led from the enclosure to a large oval yard. The Newark Square's sides formerly ranged from about 940 feet 290 meters to 940 feet 290 meters in length, enclosing a total area of about 20 acres 8.1 hectares. Much of the square enclosure and its associated mounds was destroyed during 19th century European American development, construction related to building the Ohio Canal, as well as the streets and houses of the city of Newark. Clearing and cultivation of fields for farming also destroyed much of the monument. The remaining segment of one wall of the square is less than 200 feet 61 meters long. The Wright Earthworks are named in honor of Mrs. Frances Reese Wright, who donated the site in 1934 to the Ohio Historical Society. Topic. Gallery. Color photos are of the Great Circle, located in Heath. The black and white photos of the Octagon Earthworks in Newark were taken from the air in the 1980s, showing the interposition of country club golf sand traps and greens with the surviving parts of the ancient circles, walls, observatory circle and octagon. Topic. See also. Earthwork Archaeology Fort Ancient Hopewell Culture National Historical Park List of Hopewell Sites Mound Builder, People List of National Historic Landmarks in Ohio